further on page 84. I can't stop. Didn't I tell you, said Clem, you both work for the same boss, and she's this little nookie. Here's in a couple of other guys, but not for you. You don't know anything, and you don't have any money. Why, damn her soul. Well, Einhorn would give her anything. He's nuts about her. I couldn't conceive that. It wouldn't be like Einhorn to settle his important feelings on a tramp. But that was exactly... But that exactly was what he had done. He was mad for her. Einhorn knew, too, that he shared her with a few hoodlums from the pool room. Of course he knew. It wasn't in his life to be without information. He had the storage of an anthill for it, with weaving black lines of provisioners creeping into the crest from every direction. They told him what would be the next turn in the lingle case, or what the public auction schedule would be, or about pellet, appellate court decisions before they were in print, or where there were hot goods, from furs to school supplies. So he had a line on Lolly from the beginning to the end.